Hello Travelers, today we're taking a look at the Limitless Merino Shirt and Polo from Western Rise. These were both recently funded on their Kickstarter and have a few very interesting properties that make them excellent for travel or for everyday wear, as you'll see in a moment. And I'd just like to thank Ian at Western Rise for sending me out the shirts for review. Also, throughout the review, you'll see me wearing them with a pair of pants, which are Western Rise's diversion pants which are a great match for these shirts. They also have a four-way stretch and are very comfortable. And there is a link in the top right-hand corner to see a review of those which I did just a few days ago. Of course, links to purchase the shirts and the pants will be in the comments below. So taking a look at the shirt's details, it's made from a blend of 54% merino wool from Australia and 47% polyester. It has a fabric weight of 175 GSM and it's knitted together with a dynamic knit technique. This gives the shirt a very noticeable and comfortable four-way stretch that makes it feel very unrestrictive. The merino gives the shirt anti-odor properties and also thermal insulating properties and the dynamic knit gives it a very breathable and functional stretch. The fit on the button down for me I felt was really good. I'm wearing a size small here and you can see through the shoulders and through the body length it actually fits quite nicely. The four-way stretch also makes it feel very, very freeing. It's so stretchy that it's almost like wearing an exercise shirt. The fit of the polo is also a size small but I felt that but also somehow I felt that it looked a bit too big on me. I think it's something to do with the way that the buttons pull at the middle of the shirt and, and make it drape a little bit awkwardly but it will depend on your body shape and whether it will fit nicely on you or not. As you can see, the polo shirt is also a bit creased and this is because I left it folded up in my bag for a few days and I wanted to test the wrinkle resistance. So I can say that the wrinkle resistance is probably more for minor wrinkles, not so much for larger creases. In terms of how well the fabric performs, I can say that it indeed it is very comfortable and very soft. And the foyer stretch does really make it feel like you can do anything while wearing the shirt. If you look closely at the fabric, you can see the special dynamic knit that they used, which helps make it very breathable as well as stretchy. The merino wool helps keep the shirt warm when it's cold and cool when it's hot. I haven't had a chance to fully test it at a wide range of temperatures yet, but I did wear it on a 38 degrees Celsius day here, which is 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and it didn't feel too warm and I felt that it breathed very well. The styling of the shirt is very nice too and it's somewhere between a casual button down and a dressy button down. Tucking it in, wearing it with a nice pair of shoes and maybe a tie, you could dress it up or even wear it with a jacket as you can see here. But wearing it untucked and rolling up the sleeves, you can keep it very casual. It performs great in any situation that you can throw at it. In terms of pricing, it comes in at 129 US dollars, which is 196 Australian, which is on the higher end for a shirt, but I think for the comfort and the stretch of the shirt and the wide variety of situations you'd be able to wear it through, I think it is worth it. I know there are other 100% merino wool shirts in the same price range, like the Woolen Prince shirt that I've previously reviewed, but this shirt really does feel a lot less restrictive and the four-way stretch brings a lot to the table in terms of how comfortable it is to wear. I was even able to work out while wearing this shirt as you can see here. Overall a very well made and durable shirt and it's super soft and comfortable to wear so much so that you often forget that you're actually wearing a button down shirt and not just a regular t-shirt. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're in the market for a do-it-all travel shirt that will last you for a long time. So that's it, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to let me know down in the comments which of these shirts you prefer the fit of or if you're going to pick one up and be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.